Hello again, boy people. Um, I just decided to go ahead and go straight into it. Um, I was talking to Nick Woolsey a few months back about the waist wraps. I was trying to learn their method, uh, which is a good method, um, but it seems not everyone would be able to learn it that way. Nick said that he did. Um, he also prompted everyone viewing to, if they found a better way to do it, tell him. I don't know if someone had done that before, but I have talked to him about it, um, and this is the culmination of my efforts. What he basically said was learning the motion for a behind-the-back weave, and taking that motion, and basically, obviously, learning it both directions, right? Um, Sorry, I'm not all that great at those still. You learn that both directions, and then you learn how to turn with them, which, even now, that's an extremely difficult motion to go through. Um, I don't think I would be able to get it down using that method at all. Um, and then compress that and compress it until you're standing straight forward, just as if you were doing, you know, weave, turn, weave, turn, weave, turn, right? Just behind your back and a little lower. Um, through talking to my friend Natan, who I um, was introduced to Boy to finally, the guy I told you about in the first video, um, he was learning with Witch's Woods and presented to me a better option, um, I believe. Here's the option. Remove one hand from the picture entirely and spin with the other which is very common. <laughs> this is probably the first thing you should always do with any technique you're ever learning is ignore one hand, use the other. Now, spin whatever direction you're comfortable with first and obviously try learning it both ways. Um, but you're gonna start by taking your hand and spinning the first beat in front of you um, with it wrapped behind your back um, in the form of a um, behind the back weave, sort of, except instead of pointing out here, you bring it across your body. That beat is going to look like this. Ah, sorry. And of course, I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> so that beat's going to look like that. And what you want to do from here, and I'm not that flexible, so this is a little hard. There we go. Right? Um, this is the motion you're going to want to take. One, two. One, two. One, two. Just back and forth. Really simple motion. One, two, one, two. Right? And then you're going to take the other one spinning in the same direction and start here. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Um, Drill those. Drill the hell out of them. Do them as often as you can. Don't even think about putting the other hand into it just yet. Just do that motion. Back and forth, um, both directions, obviously taking it from here as well, you know? Go, that's going clockwise instead of counterclockwise to you guys, or to me. Um, both boy, both directions. Very simple, very, um, sort of requires a bit of flexibility, um, for which you can take your hands and just pull them behind your back, hold that for about 30 or 40 seconds at a time, and then switch to the opposite side. Um, and eventually, once you compress them all, they become this. You start here, right? Whatever hand is behind you while you're spinning, going that direction, uh, which is, to me, counterclockwise, you are going to push back a little bit and lead with the one in the front, right? So you start here, you throw this behind and get that motion in there, just like I was saying before, right? You start here, bam, and then you follow it as much as you can. And if I were to remove one foy from it, the motion that I'm doing is the same thing that I told you to do, right? It's just a matter of timing it so they don't hit each other and 
compressing it to the point where they don't flail around. This is the basic, most basic, I'm sure, um, waist wrap that exists. It's the two-beat waist wrap. Um, I am not going to attempt a three-beat yet because every time I do, I like tie my hands behind my back somehow. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps you out. Um, and if you were able to learn it from Nick, more power to you. That one was a very hard one um, for me. It took me about two months of insisting that Nick was doing it in a way that I understood before I caved into Natan telling me that that way was easier, and then I got it within a couple days of practicing Natan's way. Um, it's all sort of a learning curve, though. Everyone's going to find it easier to learn in their own sort of way. So again, um, if you know a better way to, te to teach it, then go ahead and tell me. Um, video responses are always welcome. And if you learned anything, then I'm glad I helped. <laughs> anyway, we will see you again for the next installment soon. Um, in which I'm going to be dealing with a fun flower combination that I put together today. Um, hopefully that combination um, I can improve on a bit, but I want to show you the basics of it just to get you started. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. Bye!